guys what is going on I am excited it's running we already tried it out we're actually getting it right now into the engine hoist and we're gonna be putting it on the truck because we're gonna be delivering it um, we will be installing it tomorrow which is Sunday hopefully everything goes all right uh, I am gonna be changing some parts that I know on my boat we just put them brand new like a water pickup impeller um, the filters all that stuff we're gonna be putting it on this new uh, you guys guessed it yes it's a 300 HPDI I got it cheap uh, we're just gonna keep using the boat with that engine so let's see you guys just stick around we're gonna be putting it right now like I said on the truck and take it to the boatyard Alright, so we got here to the boatyard and we are unloading the outboard. Uh, we will be leaving it for today because it's a rainy day. Um, it's not the best day to work on the boat, but we'll be back on here tomorrow. So let's stick around. Hey guys, what is going on? I am super excited. We are going to go ahead and swap the engine finally on the Hydra. Uh, we're going for a 300 HPDI again because it was dirt cheap. And I'm not looking to spend anywhere to $20,000 or above right now on the boat. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the boat yard as you saw, um, we already have it. And today we're gonna go ahead and install it. We're gonna de-rig the old one, um, take it out, install the new one. And let's see if we can have a water test at the end of the day, you know, midday more or less. It's only, right now it's 11 o'clock. So let's see what's gonna happen. All right guys, we just got here to the boat yard. I am excited let's get out of here just parking for a second because we do have to move a lot of boats we got my old man that's coming we got alex with us he's also going to help and we're gonna move all these things out of here take out all the boats it's gonna be quick we're gonna get the little loader take them out and we're gonna get the hydro which is back there move it out now we can also have enough room to work on it so let's get the covers out everything out because we want to be working you know right so yeah, let's get this out of here. You took a shower last night? All right guys, so by this time we have already uh, taken all the fuel lines and oil lines out, also with the electric harness. So the engine is actually ready to be removed. As you can see here, we have it on the forklift. We're just wiggling. Uh, out the screws, you know, so that we can officially take out the outboard and install the new one. All right, so while I was busy disconnecting the old outboard from the forklift and putting the new one on the harness, um, I do appreciate the work that Alex Sorry, was guys, doing. He doesn't know this, but I'm recording. So, what we're gonna do now is they're hooking up the other, the other engine. Uh, we're cleaning out everything. As you can see here, these guys clear everything all the old uh, silicone also in here we're gonna clean these out and then we're going to reapply new silicone press cure 5200 marine adhesive sealant and then we have some new grease also I'll you see trusted WD-40 and then uh, we're rolling up the new engine on the back and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So just stay tuned and uh, here we go. All right, at this time I will be in the stern of the boat. I am gonna be going in there because I have to tighten up the screws that are holding the outboard. Uh, just hanging in there guys, so uh, we are almost done. We are about to uh, rig everything up, all the gas line and the control cables electricity so that we can actually go ahead and give it a water test we actually realized that the lower unit oil was really bad it wasn't super milky but it already had the you know, some white in there so we actually just went out uh, bought some lower unit oil and changed it on the spot before we actually went out and ride and here it is this is how it performed that day all right guys i am super happy we have the boat on the water the engine is good it's running good so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try it right now i'm excited i haven't seen the boat on the water in the past six months so let's check this out how it's gonna go let's see it here's the powers we're here in niagara coastal and we just 
tried it out. It went full throttle. Alex is hitting it again. So let's go check them out there. How you guys hear it and how you guys like it. So after the great test, now it's time to head back into the marina. We're pulling back into Miami from Government Cut. I'm happy, guys. I didn't have to spend a lot of money. Uh, boat, I mean, the, the engine alone was $3,000, which is not bad. 500 hours. Can't beat that. And it's probably spent on like 200 bucks on another battery just to have everything, you know. One of them had died out. So we're just going to go ahead now, guys. Take the boat back into the yard. And this finishes up the clip for this, guys. Thank you so much for looking at the clip. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll be putting more clips of the boat. Keep in touch.